Hello class, my name is Shelby and today I'm going to be talking about the importance of a secure attachment between a parent and their child. Having a secure attachment is important because it allows for the child to easily explore their environment when their parent is present and it also helps the parent to more easily soothe their child when their child is in distress. If you want to look up um, a video of this, just search the strain situation done by Mary Ainsworth. The study was done and it shows parents and different children and the different attachment styles that come from that. Secure attachment will also set a child up for success. Studies have shown that children who grew up with a secure attachment with their parents have, are more outgoing, have better success in school, they're more eager to learn, and they will also develop more meaningful and deeper relationships in the future. Okay, so some of the reasons why secure attachment is good for babies to develop is it will help them have intimate relationships, they'll be able to maintain emotional balance later in life, and they'll feel more confident in their actions, in their appearance, and just overall in themselves as they grow up. And they'll enjoy being with others more often, they'll rebound from disappointment and loss faster, and they'll also share their feelings and seek support when they're going through a tough time. Secure attachment is also good for the parent because the parent will be able to read their child's um, facial expressions and body movements. So the child's hungry, they can determine that from the sound of their cry or their facial expressions. And your child will also be easier to calm and soothe. So if you're in the grocery store, your child's throwing a tantrum, if you have that secure attachment established, you'll be able to calm your child down and continue on with your day-to-day -day activities. Um, some tips for developing a secure attachment with your child. Number one um, is to learn and understand your child's behavior. So watch their facial expressions when they have a dirty diaper or when you know they're hungry or tired. And if you can recognize those as they continue to grow up, then you'll be able to establish a pattern with that. And babies will also use varying sounds. So if you know they're hungry and they're making a sound Next time they make that sound, you know that they're hungry and you can respond appropriately to that. Okay, tip number two, make sure that your child is getting the proper nutrients and the appropriate amount of sleep. If your child's tired, they're obviously gonna be more cranky and disturbed throughout the day. Same as if they're not getting their proper nutrients, they're just not gonna be themselves. So they're gonna be less receptive to certain things that you're doing to them to soothe them and they're just gonna want proper food or to take a nap. Um, tip number three is just to play with your child. Having that communication with your child where is it you're just talking with them, laughing with them, and showing them that you care is going to form that secure attachment because they're developing a recognition of your facial expressions and your tone as well so that when they are in distress and you come to comfort them they'll know that you're not angry with them, you're just there to soothe them and make sure that they're doing all right. Um, tip number four Developing a secure attachment is not about being a perfect parent, it's just about being responsive to your child's needs. Parents are going to make mistakes, it always happens, and it's not going to affect the child in the long run, as long as you're responding to their needs. Simply, when they're hungry, feed them, when they're tired, lay them down, and just talk to your child play with them, they want to spend time with you, and that's going to develop a secure attachment. And for the final tip, dads can also form secure attachment. It's not just all about the mother. Dads can form attachments by bottle feeding their child, playing with their child, spending time with their child, and just holding your child. Having that skin to skin contact right after birth will also be very beneficial to forming a secure attachment. Um, Secure attachment with dads will also help the child as they go through their teen years. Um, when they're in fights with their mom, then they can go to dad and discuss certain things. Um, some ch challenges that may prohibit a secure attachment from forming are if the parent is suffering from any type of mental illness such as depression and anxiety, they may not be fully mentally aware of how to form this attachment or they might not be capable of it. Um, another one is drug or alcohol addiction. So with these addictions, the parent may not be fully present in their child's life, going in and out of rehabs, or just out binging drugs or alcohol. So the child is either with different caregivers, such as grandparents, foster parents, 
anything like that. Another one is high levels of stress. The stress can be due to financial problems, um, if the parent is having any drama in their life, whether if it's divorce or the passing of their parents, um, these stress can hinder a secure attachment. Um, living in an unsafe environment, this kind of goes with the financial thing a little bit. Um, if you're in a certain neighborhood that just is not safe for the child to go out and play, and if they're cooped up in their house all the time, that'll form an insecure attachment. And the last thing is if the parent had negative childhood memories themselves, then this can just kind of give them a bad taste on how to be a parent and what parenting looks like because they never um, witnessed healthy parenting styles.